Let's construct a simplified block model of a junction field effect transistor. We'll start with a block of doped silicon, in this case N-type, called the base or substrate. This is surrounded by a small ribbon of oppositely doped silicon, which forms a PN junction. Two leads, called the drain and source, are at opposite ends of the substrate. The third lead, the gate, is the surrounding ribbon. To get a perspective on the action that takes place within a JFET, let's look at a cross-sectional view of our block model. Basically, the substrate is like a resistor, since it is a continuous piece of highly doped silicon that has a low resistance value, typically in the range of 50 to 200 ohms. Since the gate material forms a PN junction with the substrate, a depletion region is developed around the gate and substrate. The depletion region extends somewhat into the substrate, leaving an opening within the substrate called the channel. The PN junction in a JFET is commonly referred to as the gate channel junction, since it's between the gate and the channel. The development of a small depletion region around the gate channel junction during the construction of a JFET causes some restriction to the substrate's conductivity, but the increase in resistance is only minimal, so the drain source resistance remains about 50 to 200 ohms. Because the substrate of the JFET in our example is doped N-type, this JFET is commonly referred to as an N-channel JFET. We will use this type exclusively in our discussion of JFET operation. However, P-channel JFETs are also manufactured, but are not as commonly used as the N-channel JFET. In the P-channel type, the substrate is P-type silicon and the gate is N-type.